Hi, my name is Simon Gilbert. I'm a business coach in York and I have type 1 diabetes. The first time I remember it was probably when I was driving along and I couldn't read the road signs as well as I used to. I noticed that uh, things I used to see quite clearly became hazy. Yeah, well, I, I put it down to just working a lot, getting up early in the morning and working a lot. And combined that, combined with uh, doing normal things, like we just had a baby and trying to wash him in the bath. I remember my wife coming up the stairs because my arm was literally hanging over the bath and I couldn't get up off the floor. I was that tired. And it was that point she suggested that I need to have a look at this and get this sorted. So I was, I was peeing a lot as well during the day and drinking a lot. Um, and it was when we went online and noticed that I probably had about four of the major symptoms for having type 1 diabetes. It's the unknown. It's not, it's not knowing uh, what you're going to have to do on a daily basis. I remember the first day after leaving the hospital and I actually, actually had a client that day and you are unsure how long your blood sugar is going to stay high until you may have a possible low. I'd had a friend who was type 1 diabetic since he was 11 and I'd often found myself looking after him, um, especially if we'd gone on holiday and he'd experienced a lot of hypos, a lot of lows and I was concerned that that was going to happen to me. I accepted it very, very quickly, um, but it's a strange range of emotions, being honest with you. It's the unknown more than anything else. First of all, wondering what it's going to be like to inject yourself every single day. But that first injection is always a bit strange because you always associate it with druggies and don't accept it that, you know, you're going to have to do it for the rest of your life. My life's changed dramatically after having met Elaine and uh, gone through her course because I now know what I need to eat. Previous to that, I was eating all sorts, I had no idea how it was affecting my body, but what I did notice was that I didn't have to inject anywhere near as much fast-acting insulin as I once did, and some days, virtually none. I definitely feel more energised, and I also feel more in control as well. That's a big deal for a lot of diabetics. It's control of the situation. So for me, the number one thing I've got out of this is having more control over, over my life. I mean, you've probably guessed that control is really, really important to me. And that's what Elaine's course has done for me. It's put the control back into my hands. So the interesting thing about Simon, of course, is that like a lot of people with type 1 diabetes, he was eating whatever he liked, thinking that he could compensate for that with insulin. But of course, the worst case scenario is that simply replicates the situation you have with a person with a working pancreas, but a really poor diet. There are two things to remember about Simon. One, he has to marry a sedentary job with a very active family lifestyle, which means that he still needs his carbohydrates. And two, he has a sweet tooth. The carbohydrates are easy. Think sweet potatoes instead of ordinary potatoes or pasta or rice or bread. And the sweet tooth, well, 100% cocoa in water tastes delicious. Mm -hmm.